close my eyes and I can see the world that's waiting up for me that I call my own through the dark through the door through where no one's been before but it feels like home they can say they can say sounds crazy they can say they can say I've lost my mind I don't care I don't care so call me crazy we can live in a world that we design cause every night I lie in bed the brightest color Pagpalang araw po sa ating lahat. Welcome sa 2021 Moving Up Ceremony ng Citrus National High School. Upang pasimulan ang ating palatuntunan, inaanyayahan ko po ang lahat na tunghayan ang pagpasok ng mga guro at non-teaching staff ng paaralan, mga kasapi ng Parent Teachers Association at ang kumakatawan sa ating punong guro na si Ginoong Senen B. Jane, Education Program Supervisor in Alternative Learning System. Mula sa Filipino Department sa panguna ng Gurong Tagapagunay, Franco M. Guevara. English Department, Gurong Tagapagunay, Provean T. Contiga. Mathematics Department sa panguna ng Gurong Tagapagunay, Michelle E. Gabadan. Science Department, Gurong Tagapagunay, Liberty W. Gardon. Araling Panlipunan Department sa Panguna ng Gurong Tagapagugnay, May B. Diaz. Edukasyon sa Pagpapakataw Department sa Panguna ng Gurong Tagapagugnay, April C. Nestor. DLE Department sa Panguna ng Gurong Tagapagugnay, Nida P. Gavina. MAPE Department sa Panguna ng Gurong Tagapagugnay, Maricris C. Luego. At para naman sa Senior High School Department sa Panguna ng Gurong Tagapagugnay, Leticia V. Resma. Ang ating non-teaching staff, Parent Teachers Association Officers, at ang kumakatawan sa ating punong guro, ginoong Senen B. Jane, Education Program Supervisor in Alternative Learning System. Atin pong saksihan ang pag-awit ng lupang hinirang na susundan ng panalangin sa pangunahan ni Betty Beatrice P. Cortez mula sa pangkat Leonard Oyler kasunod ang pagsaksi ng tanong pati na Deputy Secretary Dior Pantonius P.O.S. at Regional Director May B. Eklar. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Sayang maghiling Sampai 
presensya ng Panginoon. Dakila at mapagmahal naming Diyos, lubos po kaming nagpapasalamat dahil pinahintulutan niyo po kaming ipagdiwang ang pagtatapos ng mga estudyanteng ito. Maraming salamat po sa walang sawang paggabay hanggang sa makarating kami sa kalagayang ito. Naway pagpalain niyo po at gabayan ang mga estudyanteng ito sa pagtatapos ng kanilang paglalakbay bilang junior high school at sa mga bagay na darating at makakamtan sa hinaharap. Nawa ang aming mga natutunan ay magamit namin upang maging kahanga-hanga at matagumpay sa buhay. Alam mo po na marami sa amin ang nakaranas ng pagsubok at kapighatian. Pakiusap, bigyan mo po sila ng kaginhawaan at kalakasan. Naway magsikap pa kami sa kausayan at magkaroon ng kapayapaan sa aming mga puso. Sa inyo po ang papuri at pasasalamat, itinataas po namin ang aming dalangin sa ngalan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen.
each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day, wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way, 
and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, 
the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and Perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you more doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world. 
and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates. And we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. The school year 2020-2021 will forever be etched in the minds and hearts of every Filipino learner as the time when education took a drastic change. The classroom suddenly was no longer the physical structure in the school, but the virtual platform on the internet or a learning space at home. Teaching did not include any more the chalk and the blackboard, but distance learning activities like online classes, radio and TV-based instruction, and self-learning modules. And yes, the teacher was not only limited to sir and madam, but it also meant the learner's parents and guardians at home. COVID-19 has definitely changed the landscape of the teaching and learning process. Yet, with our collective resolve and resiliency, which is uniquely Filipino, we vowed not to let this pandemic stop us from making learning happen, from ensuring that our children get an education. Through the DepEd Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan, we operationalized and concretized our vision and mission that our pursuit of quality education must continue despite the pandemic. My dear graduates, completers, and academic awardees of school year 2020-2021, you are the products of this unique period in our nation's education history when we were faced with a tremendous challenge in our learning delivery. Difficult as it may be, you still manage to survive and overcome the hurdles and obstacles owing to your adaptability and creativity. This alone makes you winners, game changers, and trailblazers. To our school leaders, teachers, parents, and other stakeholders who continue to brave the imminent danger posed by the COVID-19 virus to their health and their lives every day, just to make sure that our children do not stop from learning, you are the unsung heroes and frontliners of DepEd's mantra of Sulong Edukalidad. Our dear partners in education who have given immense support to our schools, we did not only push through with the school year. We made sure that our children receive quality learning in the face of these trying times. Strengthening the quality education amid the COVID-19 pandemic is not simply about the use of various distance learning delivery modalities. It speaks about the essentials that you continuously embody 
such as your generosity and dedication for education. To encapsulate it in one word, it speaks about our common goal to provide the learning opportunities for our children amidst these trying times. Many years and decades from now, our dear batch 2020-2021, when you will look back at this day of your graduation, completion ceremony or recognition day, you will most certainly remember it with the most unique memory. For one, your day will probably be recorded in perpetuity because it happened in a virtual ceremony. Please do not look at this as a scarcity, but rather as a living testimony of your ability to rise above any adversity. Congratulations, and may God continue to bless and guide you. Para sa pambunga na pananalita, pakinggan po natin si Mervin J.D. Servito mula sa Pangkat Ptolemy. Magandang araw po sa ating lahat, sa mga guro, magulang, kapwa mag-aral at sa mga panauhing pandangal na makakasama natin upang saksihan ng seremonya ng mga grade 10 completers sa araw na ito. Ako po ay lubos na nagagalak na mabigyan ng pagkakataong magbigay ng mensahe dala ang karangalan ng ating paaralan at maging boses ng buong grade 10 completers. Hindi ko po mapigilang ihalin tulad sa isang balintataw ang mga pangyayari sa kasalukuyang panahon dahil tila hanggang sa mga sandaling ito ay hindi pa rin tuluyang napoproseso ng aking isipan ang mga kaganapan. Simula noong ako'y nasa elementarya, pumapasok lamang sa aking isipan ang pakiramdam ng magsalita at magbigay ng mensahe sa mga magsisipagtapos. Hindi inaasahang mararanasan ang malaking karangalan na ito. Maraming pagsubok ang aking naranasan sa mga nagdang taon. Kabilang na riyan ang problemang pinansyal at ang mga taong hindi naniniwala sa aking kakayahan. Gayunpaman, hindi naging hadlang ang mga pagsubok na ito upang ipagpatuloy at magpursigi. Pagkos, isa sila sa mga nagsilbing motibasyon ko sa pag-abot ng isa sa aking mga pangarap. Kaya kapwa ko mga mag-aaral, anumang pagsubok ang dumating sa atin, huwag tayong panghihinaan ng loob, maniwala sa ating mga sarili at lalong-lalo na sa buong may kapal. Isa sa mga problemang ating kinakaharap ngayon ay ang pandemyang unang dumatal noong taong 2020. Pandemyang bumago sa takbo ng sarili-sarili nating pamumuhay papatrabaho man, gobyerno, simbahan, pamilya, at maging ng mga paaralan ay kabilang sa mga naapektuhan. Kaya naman nagsimula tayong makibagay sa panibagong takbo ng pakikisalamuha, maliit man o katamtaman ay kasama sa mga naapektuhan. Isa ang sistema ng edukasyon sa nagbago, mula sa pagtuturong aktual o harapan patungo sa pagtuturong pantahanan katuwang ang mga magulang o sa bagong katawagan ay new normal. Ngunit anuman ang pagbabagong naganap sa bawat parte ng ating kabuhayan na natili pa rin ang ating pagiging makabayan. Bilang Pilipino, pinatunayan natin na ang ganitong uri ng pagbabago ay nakayanan na pa rin natin makipagsabayan. Hindi naging madali ang taong ito. Hindi lamang sa mga estudyante, ngunit pati na rin sa mga guro. Napilitan tayong isulong ang buong taon ng magkakalayo at gumamit ng social media bilang instrumento para sa ating komunikasyon. May mga pagkakataon man na nagkakaproblema dahil sa hina ng internet, pinipilit pa rin nating intindihin ang bawat isa. O kaya naman ay natutulala dahil sa minsan ay hindi maarok ang nilalaman ng bawat module ay ginagawa pa rin ng lahat upang matapos ito. Naging hamon man ang taong ito, ngunit nakikita naman natin na ang bawat isa ay nagpupursigi pa rin upang magturo at matuto. Kaya nais kong batiin ang bawat isa sa inyo dahil sa kabila ng paghirap natin, pinatunayan pa rin na kahit ang pandemya ay hindi makakapigil sa atin. 
at ang panghuli, nais kong gamitin ng pagkakataong ito upang pasalamatan ng ating punong guro na si Sir Joel Jonathan Camero, katuwang si Dr. Jaime T. Tagude, isa rin sa mga naging OIC, at gayon din, nakasama natin ang ating bagong OIC na si Sir Senen B. Jane, at sa lahat ng mga guro na nagsilbing pangalawang mga magulang na walang sawang gumabay at sumuporta sa amin, lalong-lalo na kina Ma'am Elina De Vera, Ma'am Michelle Gabadan, Ma'am Jocelyn Bacasno, at kay Sir Victor Lishon. At sa lahat po ng mga guro ng Citrus National High School, kung hindi po dahil sa tulong ninyo, ay hindi po namin makakamit ang karangalan na ito. Kaya maraming salamat po sa inyo. Maraming salamat sa mga kaklase at kaibigan na nakasama ko sa apat na taon at nakasandalan sa hirap man o sa ginhawa. Ako ay labis na nagagalak na makita ang bawat isa sa inyo na magtatapos para sa taong ito. Maraming salamat sa mga magulang at kapatid kong palaging ipinadarama sa akin ng kanilang suporta. Nay, tay, para sa inyo po ang lahat ng ito. Sa Diyos na kailanman hindi pinagdamot ang samutsaring biyaya na ipinadarama. At ang munting paaralang Citrus National High School na nakasama natin sa pagtataguyod ng mga nagdang taon. Maraming salamat po. Muli, hayaan ninyo akong ibigay ang aking pagbati sa mga grade 10 completers o magsisipagtapos ng junior high school sa taong ito. Taong panuruan 2020 to 2021 pa dayon. Tunghayan naman natin ang pagpapatunay ng ating tagapamanihala ng paaralang panlunsod, Dr. Marlina P. Cruz, Seso 6. Magandang hapon po, tagapamanihala ng paaralang panlunsod, Marlina P. Cruz, Seso 6. Ikinararangal kong ipakilala ang dalawang daan at isang mga batang kalalakihan at dalawang daan at tatlumput tatlo mga batang kababaihan na may kabuoang bilang na apat na raan at tatlumput apat na junior high school completers. Sa bisa ng kapangyarihang ipinagkaloob sa akin ng kagawaran ng edukasyon, bilang nanunuparang pansangay na tagapamanihala ng mga paaralan, sangay ng lungsod ng San Jose del Monte, at ayon sa pagpapatunay ni Sir Senen B. Jane, nakasiya-siya kayong nakatupad sa mga kinakailangan sa kurikulum ng junior high school para sa taong pampaaralan 2020-2021 na itinakda ng kagawaran ng edukasyon. Malugod kong pinatutunayan ang pagtatapos sa grade 10 ng dalawang daan at isang lalaki at dalawang daan tatlumput tatlong babae na may kabuoang bilang na apat na raan tatlumput apat na junior high school completers ng pambansang mataas na paaralan ng Citrus. Narito ang pinakahihintay ng lahat, ang pagpapakilala sa mga completers mula sa iba't ibang pangkat. Mula sa pangkat, Archimedes sa panguna ng Tugurong Talapayo, Ginong Franco M. Guevara. Ikinararangal kong ipakilala sa anay ng mga kalalakihan, Mark Evans P. Andaya, Genesis B. Aquino, Aris Ryan T. Belosa, Kimple B. Calderon, Francis James A. E. Camunayan, Michael Jr. P. E. Cancelaw, Sean Kirby L. Cipriano, Davon F. Cosway, Glenn I. C. Francisco, Ron Franco N. Maglupay, John Vincent S. Manuel, King G. T. Mendoza, Ismael S. Nario, James Harvey L. Padungang, Wesley Joseph L. Padungang, Frankie G. Piamonte, Ken Erdy C. Quitorio Nathaniel C. Rodrigo Carl John A. Salidio John Arthur S. Victoria Michael Daniel G. Villapando John Paul U. Yanela Mula naman sa hanay ng mga kababaihan 
Johanna R. Abrensia, Angel M. Alcazar, May Karangalan, Izumi Baban, May Karangalan, Edson Fiona C. Baguio, Nika Mekiway Betito, Charlene Cabral, May Karangalan, Maria Janelle S. Elisterio, Evelyn B. Guito, Princesa S. Abierto, Samantha B. Leavit, Jenny A. Lopez, Danica B. Marcel, Glendaline B. Menjola, Jemery P. Puyod, May Karangalan, Hershey Mary T. Romeo, May Karangalan, Faith Yumi B. Rosas, Bea Carla R. Sanchez, Mary Rose G. Saraga, Kate Diane B. Tantoy, May Karangalan, Alia J. M. Villamor. Mula sa Pangkatrina de Cars, sa pangunguna ng kanilang gurong tagapayo, ginang Grace Glory G. Paracale. Ipinalulugod ko ang ipakilala mula sa hangay ng mga kalalakihan. John Paul G. Anos, Pat B. Aquino, Carlo Harold E. Arbizo, John Dominic N. Borilla, Justin Renz U. Brioso, Renel M. Cabanes, Reyu D. Cortez, J.C. M. Cruza, Prince John Q. Desisto, Justin M. Fuentes, Angelito B. Gavara, Kurt C. Laron, Paul John M. Magos, Van Jerich Musa, Arnold M. Olasiman, Jesse R. Tuando. Wala naman sa hanay ng mga kababarihan, Olga S. Banate, Erian T. Beruvico, Kulame M. Brioso, Angeline Joy C. Bolawan, Princess Lotsa L. Tolokit, Joraline P. Cortejos, Justin C. Cuestas, Jorica A. Fernandez, Michelle L. Gagaboan, Arwen M. Lagunsad, May Karangalan, Jirian Shane A. Lano, May Karangalan, Danica Aita C. Lara Jamaica Art J. Lyson Eliza J. Lopez Ashley Mabilin Rhea B. Montaño Jasmine T. Gavaro Kate L. Obidos Jonabel P. Odiohan Jasmine Shaira G. Ortines Maria Shaira May L. Kinit May Karangalan Jalene L. Rivera Ezequiel R. Rodriguez Charmaine M. Rocano Lizel Ann B. Rosario Ayesa Cassandra Y. Torres Mula sa Pangkat Euclid sa panguna ng Gurong Tagapayo Binibini Elizabeth G. Niegas, ikinalulugod ko ipakilala mula sa hanay ng mga kalalakihan. Juan Cair D. Adra, Omar D. Adriano, J. Mark C. America, Raymond B. Baran, May Karangalan, Charles B. Cabusao, May Karangalan, Dexter D. Claudio, May Karangalan, Paul Renz de la Cruz, John Mark M. Julian, Rusty Shane T. Kenyon, Al Benedict C. Lepiga, Orsi Dwix Monterde, Evelinsky Einsmar Montoya, Linel Dale O. Mulang, Ken Ivan G. Mutia, May Karangalan, Yuan Roman S. Nario, Jaguel S. Umboy, Giancarlo O. Cateño, Ken Nathaniel C. Peralta, May Karangalan, at Baron S. Rabasio.
wala naman sa hangay ng mga kababalihan, Sheila Kaila di Adra, may karangalan. Liza May D. Aure, Lindy M. Cabahes, Arsinet Jane B. Cabrera, may karangalan. Precious Raleigh M. Corjan, may karangalan. Marika De Luna, may karangalan. Sunshine S. De La Merced, Ira G. De Los Santos, may karangalan. Micaela C. Doran, may karangalan. Artea Custer, Monique R. Gadaian, Stephanie Joy C. Garcia, Joan Marie G. Gravoso, may karangalan. Sheena Mary C. Martos, Alexa Joyce R. Morota, may karangalan. Jasmine T. Olivares, may karangalan. Gina Lynn D. Ramos, Risa Main R. Rebadavia, Jalene T. Rosaleso, may karangalan. Alia Camille Santiago, may karangalan. GMA Maxine D.C. Gian Q. Tria. Mula sa pangkat, Leonard Euler. Sa panguna ng kurong tagapayo, Binibining Liberty W. Gardon. Ikinararangal kong ipakilala mula sa hanay ng mga kadalakihan. Dirk M. Akiatan. Dandan G. Bahe. Jander B. Balais Leonor M. Basihan Florentino U. Biating III Aro B. Kakbay Joao Aspir C. Katarungan May Karangalan Noel P. Katilo Alexander Jr. G. De Leon Cyrus P. Doble Vincent Paul G. Filiarca Justin Barnes C. Gapus Carl Andri C. Lezaga Mark Nell D. Medianero John Ivan Dave F. Ocampo Wala naman sa hanay ng mga kababaihan Kenneth Lorin B. Acebron Marjorie B. Basan Gia Alaysa A. Bernardo Sherry Ann M. Kalawag, may karangalan. Noemi P. Katilo. Betty Beatrice P. Condes, may karangalan. Ryuki O. Deligdi. Mary Joyce Ann R. Doringo, may karangalan. Francine Faith M. Gotti, may karangalan. Queen Victoria L. Lee. May karangalan Arashi S. Rivera Ella May J. Romano May karangalan Raven Claire S. Sudiano May karangalan Shane Isabel M. Valdesino May karangalan At Maria Ayumi T. Williams May karangalan Mula sa pangkat, Johan Kepler sa panguna ng Gurong Tagspayo, Ginang Nida P. Gabina. Ikinagatil na po ang pakilala mula sa hanay ng mga kalalakihan. Sean Nestor R. Anayo. Mark Tristan Balila. Chile Ace M. Batobato. Ronald Mike R. Campos. Haji Nasser B. De Guzman Ezekiel Jimbo C. Doran Nico G. Edhan Alfei L. Spina Janay S. Lim Jovan R. Lamangaya Ian Kenneth T. Makapugay Nathaniel Carl T. Makapugay Christian Mingoy, Robert M. Reyes, Mark Neal S. Rubio, Mark Francis G. Sanchez, 
Jericho, Dr. Sola, Ahmad Abdul Rahman, Gilbert, Pete Tabarejo, Mike Sarangalan. Wala naman sa hanay ng mga pagkakarihan. Rayaan M. Abalos, Jerson Q. Arogante, Jean Mary B. Aziz, Princess Nicole M. Tabahes, Jasmine M. Castillo, Maria Crisa Joy A. Quizom, Princess De Leon, Gerald G. G. Endaya, Mika Shaira Escobal, Ashley R. Flores, Jeremiah D. Galindez, Raylene Gomopas, Rowan Likayan, Ana Gopisi Monte, Marialene S. Orande, Marnie S. Paha, Alia Claire G. Pantalion, Dea May J. Pascual, Char B. Punzalan, Gina May O. Kiambaw, Carissa Regonaos, Jemeline May G. Robles, Rhea Phil M. Rosas, Mari Karangalan, at Kizel C. Trampe. Mula sa pangkat, John Napier sa pangunan ng Durong Tagapayo, Ginang Armina B. Sabi. Buong puso kong itakikilala ang mga sahanay ng mga kalalakihan. Patrick A. Cañete, John Kenneth R. Elerina, Kenneth R. Flores, Chris Alenzel J. Ignacio, Hans B. Inama, Mark Angelo G. Mawili, Art Gabriel F. Mendroz, Iman R. Pasyon, Anthony B. Ramos, Ron Simon P. Rosas, Russell B. Salcedo, Arnel M. Sevillo, Reynaldo P. Torefiel Jr., Marlon S. Puyani, at Justin O. Valiente. Mula naman sa hanay ng mga kababarihan, Marcia O. Alondres, Melody C. Amora, Jordane Joy E. Ang, Mickey Leslie C. Cipriano, Shelo S. Colminar, Maria Cristel B. Corocoto, Rina D. Cura, Trisha May I. De Leon, April Shane T. De La Cruz, Rona May A. Gasatan, Kylie A. Ibanez, Mary Grace D. Makailaw, Jarcia Dian H. Makairan, Erica A. Mas, Rowan F. Mendros, Jamie Lynn B. Moranya May Karangalan, Raisa Jel B. Palabrica May Karangalan, Elisa M. Panga, Princess T. Patiño, Charlene P. Peleño, Sheena Marie E. Picardal, Lorraine Joy L. Ricasio, Princess Joy B. Sabuco, Grizel A. Taklin, Leseline S. Tolentino, Mary Nicole B. Untalan, Maria Rizel C. Villa Gonzalo, Mula sa pangkati sa Ak Newton sa pangunan ng Goron Sagapayo, Gino Pangyorimar M. Botomo. Ikinagat na ako ang ipakilala mula sa hangay ng mga kalalakihan. Jericho G. Alegando, Denver L. Auriaga, Francisco M. Bartolico, Whitmer E. J. T. Bazarte, Eugene L. Benitez May Karangalan, Macnery A. Sardin, Marvin B. Buenaobra, Gerald O. Calo, Arnold Christian C. S. Chalbo, Paulo B. Pabon, Sean Kyle L. Guerrero, Reynald A. Jamin, Aldrin Vanillo, 
Mark Anses DJ Manyo, John Albert C. Mingo, Jimmy Mark D. Morillo, Ray Mark C. Padjos, Jomel P. Patatiso, John Kenneth P. Resilia, John Ray B. Sarmiento, at John Colin M. Tiampo. Wala naman sa hanay ng mga kababaihan, Trisha N. Aquino, Angel R. G. Arambodo, Rochelle O. Batayola, Rain D. Benjamin, Karen P. Kalahate, Vea G. Kasabay, Elijah Rai Quaison, Jeneline E. De, De Quiros, Christine M. Dulay, Jeneline P. Getilio, Claire Lydia Adeline May Malate, Angelica May S. Malayas, Renica R. Mehong, Abigail B. Mendoza, Maxine Joyce P. Otaide, Marianne M. Pado, January B. Paraiso, Roxanne A. Piñano, Angelica M. Rogelio, May Karangalan, at Fatima Joy V. Valdesino. Mula sa pangkat, Blaise Pascal sa pamunguna ng Gurong Tagapayo, Ginang May B. Diaz, ikinagagala pong ipakilala mula sa hanay ng mga kalalakihan. Nathaniel A. Abalia May Karangalan Royce Lester K. Abalia Brian Ancheta Leonardo Jr. N. Abelino Nathaniel M. Bacaro Jared A. Bulan Jade F. Cabias Vergel B. Carpio J. Maynard Delphine Roderick A. Jonglai Christian R. M. Bisan Jan Jan G. Gadaingan Edward Andre E. Garcia Eve Jenny G. Godoyo Jake Charles P. Guba Ezekiel I. Halayahan Renzel E. Miranda Sik Nabuan Joshua T. Rafales May Karangalan Jason Carl T. Ungod Mark Ian J. Yumo Michael Angelo B. Yuzon Mula naman sa hangay ng mga kabatarihan Jane F. Baluyot Melody I. Cabundo James R. Santos May Karangalan Erica P. Dublas Shara Angel N. Estinor Sherilyn O. Gabitan Yishen Ibet P. Gubat Fatima O. Guya Jasmine Lamida Angelica L. Mahabage Jennifer Frances H. Malano Rieza R. Nasyanan Princess Raisa Jedea V. Pareha Marian A. Sanchez Rosemary L. Siliana Mary Margaret M. Salon Heidi P. Sorilla Brandy Rose O. Taboco Mary Grace B. Tamayo Trisha Carril G. Vinyas Mula naman sa pangkat Ptolemy sa pangunguna ng Gurong Tagapayo ginoong Victory A. Sean Buong puso kong ipinakikilala mula sa hanay ng mga kalalakihan. Justin G. Abalahin, Deo M. Ambay, Hans Henrich R. Bergante, May Karangalan, Mervyn J. D. Servito, May Mataas na Karangalan, Mark Anthony B. Dedase, May Karangalan, Mark John J. James P. Di Maano Giron Francis G. Frondoza Carl Christian T. Lagunsad 
Nico C. Macariola, GWR Products. Wala naman sa hangay ng mga kababalihan. Jinky I. Alkiza, may karangalan. Anna May A. Balais, may karangalan. Alexa Kikit Baluyot, may karangalan. Desiree Angeline M. Borlongan, may karangalan. Jade N. Benaventura, Janina Rose Castro, Rosa Trisha M. Guaranis, Stephanie Dine C. Enotiba, Iris I. Gregorio, may karangalan. Ren Joins D. Importante, Javern Ishi S. Jimenez, may karangalan. Samantha Nicole B. Julian, Christine Katie Magallanes, Joyce Ann R. Manging, may karangalan. Jayanki D. Omlang, Diane Ashley D. M. Rose, Madeline G. Santiago, Angelica Lane P. Tutor, may karangalan. Sa pangkat pitagora sa panguna ng gurong tagapayo, Ginang Clarihan May R. Torres. Di kinaratan lang ang ipakilala mula sa hangay ng mga kalalakihan. Jericho P. Adref, Dave Antarejos, Haman C. Barcelliano Jr., Nakasalo R. Bonson, Cristan L. Cantonjos, Brian Sebreros Jr., Mark B. Ebi, Libar R. Piliatos, Mark Garfield B. Fortaleza, Prince John R. Ibanez, Saint C. Lopez, Arthur Lorenzo, Achilles Justin M. Mangahas, Jericho O. Patago, Patrick C. Pedraltes, Aaron J. Peña Flor, Arthur S. Santos, Mark Jocomo S. Sarmiento, at Leo B. Benanchi. Mula naman sa hanay ng mga kababalihan, Alisa M. Aribe, Angelica R. Borja, Pichy May B. Danacerna, Maritris B. Ebit, Nadine J. Y. Escobidal, Ira Lizel L. Esgana, Romaline Estrada, Rosaline Estrada, Devine A. Felipe, Gracie A. Gososo, Sandara M. Ingeniero, Cherry May J. Isi, Roseanne B. Panabi, Marilyn B. Pedrebe, Jenny J. Puntana, Joy J. Puntana, Iris Ann R. Roque, Shaira May B. Sanico, May Karahatan, Nolin S. Tevez, Charity P. M. Puligan, Fatima Z. Valera, at Monique C. Ya. Mula sa pagkantale, sa panguna ng Gorong Tagapayo, Ginang Ovihan P. Contigas. Ikinararangal ko ang ipakilala ng mula sa hangay ng mga kalalakinan. George Han U. Alvarado, Joshua P. Andadis, John Kenneth B. Bonghalon, Jack D. L. Buenaventura, Julian A. Capilli, Jerome P. Enriquez, Jefferson Espinosa, Mark Reynald E. Padalimpa, May Karangalan, Nelson King D. Imbang, Mark Alan Lutola, May Karangalan, Ricardo D. Magcadas Jr., Jordan C. Malasaga, Arthur P. Malaban, Elaine G. D. Sherlyn Montoya, Archie D. Nicodaz, John D. S. Pintang, Jessel P. Ravello, Romel Andrew G. Regalardo, Christian D. Silent, D.J. C. 
Sam. Brandon James C. Tubas. Mark Peña D. Tudial. At Mark Ezekiel D. Tudial. Wala naman sa hanay na mga kababalihan. Elgin C. Amalon. At C. L. Arcega. Jeneline S. Arceno. Ankel I. Berdi. Jonah B. Ayu. Jeneline L. Cartagenas. Catherine B. Elimorte. Cyrus Tiffany Y. Escobidan. Lilithia L. C. S. Lira. Kathleen Gabiana. Caitlin Bashing Mark Tabar. Grisel A. Lipada. Angelou J. Medina. Princess Anne S. Paragatos. Rika B. Pasquale. Jenna Marie L. Pires. Joan Rose C. Salvador. Princess Trisha T. Samaro. May Karahala. At Jasmine B. Rye. Ngayon naman ay pakinggan natin ang mensahe ng panauhing tagapagsalita na si Jaila Glenn B. Parohinog mula sa batch 2012-2013 ng Citrus National High School. Hello, Class of 2021! My name is Jaila Glenn B. Parohinog. And I am a proud alumni of Citrus National High School, Batch 2012-2013. It is truly an honor to be um, a guest speaker of this graduating class 2021. And I would like to say thank you to our principal and to our beloved teachers for trusting me. I would also like um, to take this opportunity to give my sincere gratitude for considering me and remembering me as one of a successful product of Citrus National High School. And from the bottom of my heart, I would like to say thank you um, to all of my previous teachers from CNHS. And of course, I would like to congratulate um, the class of 2021 and uh, we are gathering here today on our screen um, to celebrate a momentous occasion, your graduation from high school with a team, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Um, I'm very proud to all of you for what you have accomplished and achieved so far. You're earning your high school diploma. And um, today, it might be the end of your high school for all of you, um, yet it is um, the beginning for a new journey in your life. I would also like to congratulate your parents, your mama, papa, lolo, lola, ate, kuya, tito, 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 tita. Congratulations po! At napagtapos na po natin ang ating mga mag sa high school. And I know na hindi lang dito yan nagtatapos. I know that you will still continue supporting this young children up until they finish their college. And um, even though um, right now um, we are facing uh, this uh, COVID-19 global pandemic, uh, most of the parent, um, parents lose their jobs because of the pandemic. I know it's really hard, but I'm proud of you because you still made it. And um, I know that some might say, hindi mo na mag-aaral ang kanilang mga anak sa college dahil walang pera, kapos sa budget, um, instead na ipapangaral, ipapangkain, or magtatrabaho na agad ang kanilang anak. Instead, um, na pumasok sa college, and some will say that um, finishing college is not important um, because kayo mismo, um, hindi, yun naman, hindi naman kayo nakapagtapos ng college, so okay lang naman na hindi natin matapos, which is no. Um, I believe um, that education is really important because we are sending um, these children into a battlefield, um, which is life. 
And uh, one of the greatest thing that we need uh, to win this fight is education. I know you're struggling financially. Um, I've been there before because we're actually five in the family and four of us are studying college all at the same time. I was able to see uh, my parents struggling financially um, because they're paying tuition fees for the four of us, which is um, really uh, a struggle for us and for my parents. But still, I'm proud of them because they were able to make it. Um, they did everything just for us to finish um, college and to get a degree. And I know that you... You can do that, and uh, my parents, uh, they believe that education is the key to success, which is true. So, um, please, parent, um, you sh it should come from you. You should be the one um, to support your children in um, becoming what they need to become, becoming what they want, um, reaching their goal. Um, please support them. Uh, whatever it takes and do your best because still um, that is your job and um, as a student um, as you graduates if any case that your parents will not be able to make it um, they're really uh, not able to support you um, in sending to school or to universities then what you need to do is you need to um, support yourself no one can help you except yourself. So, if any case that they don't want you um, to study in college, then never depend on their um, decision. Uh, you need to depend yourself. Because um, entering college is hard, but if you have the heart, if you have the willingness, um, you can do it. I still remember um, before I entered college, um, since uh, three of my sisters are already um, studying college, I make sure that I will have my plan B or my plan um, to support myself if in case that my parents will not be able to do it for me. Um, before I enter college, I make sure to look for um, scholarships and um I still remember um, there's institutions who offer scholarships somewhere in Pleasant. Um, they're providing 10000 to 15000 per semester, which is actually enough um, for me to pay for my tuition fee. So I did try to apply. I was able to pass um, the uh, interviews and um, the examinations. However, when there goes the time that they need to check, or they need to do the background check, they need to come to our house. I wasn't able to pass um, because they say, they set the expectation that they're only getting um, poor is from the poor, which is okay. I didn't lose hope. What I did is I looked for another um, scholarships that are being offered. I passed my requirements to the office of the president, office of the senators, um, congressmans and mayor unfortunately i wasn't able to get a um, mayor's scholarship because um during that time my sister is already a scholar still i did not lose hope um i did try to um apply for governor scholarship and fortunately i was able to get it and um, way back then, um, Governor Wilhelmino is providing 3000 per semester, which is actually uh, good. And it helps me to pay for the half of my tuition fee. So what I need to do is just uh, look for any other things um, to uh, fulfill that the other half. And um, fortunately, I'm really blessed that um, Star Mall is open and then uh, McDonald's Star Mall is looking for a service crew. Even though I'm only 15, 14 years old way back then, I tried to apply for as a service crew. And luckily, um, they were able to accept me even though I'm only 14 and I was able to get the job. So, I make sure to love that job because it helps me a lot. I stayed at McDonald's as a service crew since first year college. 
up until I finish college, even though uh, the salary is only uh, 42 pesos per hour. But still, um, with my hard work, um, that's enough for me to um, support all of the other mes miscellaneous fees and um, daily baons and um, half of my tuition fee. I was able to support myself uh, without um, the help of my parents, without there are times that I no longer need uh, their help in terms of the tuition fees instead of giving it to me. Um, they just uh, give it to um, my other sisters, which is good because I was able to help them as well. And um, I stayed there for four years. The only time that I um, resigned is um, when I got, the same day I got my first job as a teacher. So that was June 1. I finally uh, um, resigned as a service crew and then I got my first job as a teacher. And then June the 20th, uh, we were able to graduate college. And um, during that a year, same year, I did try to uh, um, take the uh, licensure examinations for teachers and I'm blessed that I was able to pass the exam. Um, I'm really blessed that time and I know that um, you as well can do it um, with the hard work as long as you are focused on your goals, as long as you study hard, as long as you work hard, um, you can do more than what I did during my time. And um, you don't need to be the smartest among all of your classmates. What you need to do is you just need to um, have um, a timeline of your own. And you just need to uh, focus on your goal and you just need time management. Way back then, even though I'm working as a service crew, I'm still able to maintain my grades, um, to be a scholar, um, scholar for governor, and um, still able to pass all of my subjects and still able to retain my work as a service crew. And I know you can do it. And um, right now, to be honest, all of you graduates, you are really blessed because there are a lot of opportunities that are being offered right now. Even though we are facing pandemics, um, there are a lot of um, government and non-government institutions um, that are offer the, um, offering, who's offering um, scholarships. So scholarships are being offered anywhere and there are universities who offer free tuition fees. So um, there's no need for you to say that you cannot do it because I know you can do it. Money, it doesn't matter. As long as you work hard and you love what you're doing and you're very dedicated in finishing your studies, um, you can do it without other uh, without your parents' help, if they don't want to help you, um, if they really cannot help you, you can help yourself. So don't lose hope. Um, age doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter. But what matters is your heart and your actions. Um, right now, I might not. I might not be. Um, working in the field of teaching, but uh, yet I still strive and um, always do my best in the VPO industry where I am right now. And I believe that everyone has their own choice um, by becoming what they want to be in the future and having their own ways and path to reach the dreams and goals in life. So I know you can do it. I believe in you, Batch uh, 2021. Um, a whole new world out there is waiting for you. You don't stop growing. Um, you will learn new skills. All you need to do is focus on your goal, work hard, work smart, and always pray. And once again, um, this is Jaila. Congratulations, everyone, and God bless you all. Thank you. Para sa estado ng ating paaralan, sa kasalukuyan, ating tunghayan at pakinggan ang kumakatawan sa ating punong guro na si Ginoong Senen B. Jane na susundan ng mensahe ng Ama ng Lunsod ng City of San Jose del Monte, kagalang-galang Arthur B. Robes,
at kinatawan sa Kongreso, kagalang-galang Florida P. Robes. Good day, Citrusian. As always, our school will not stand on its own. Every Citrusian educational development has always been the foremost concern of the school. Our achievements are the community's achievements too. Our progress as one community depends on our mutual concern. That's why I'm pleased to inform you these achievements for school year 2020-2021. Our school, the Citrus National High School, received ICT equipment from Central Office composing of 50 tablets. New science laboratory equipment such as telescope and other apparatus were stored at the science laboratory. Selected teachers of our school crafted modules were evaluated and approved by the school's division office. Reading in tandem program was planned and pre-evaluated by EPS in Filipino and English having the main objective that every Citrusian must become a model and critical reader. Our school, the Citrus National High School Boy Scout of the Philippines, became one of the country's representative for global cultural jamboree in Sri Lanka. Our school, Supreme Student Government, came up with a virtual presser which main purpose was to build relationship among students amid pandemic. Our school is a four times champion last January 2021 in the Port Gulayan sa Paaralan program of city government. After the Gulayan sa Paaralan program, the school conducted its program entitled Punla Mula sa Paaralan Patungo sa Tahanan in coordination with the City Agriculture Office, which aim is to provide seedlings for the community, for the stakeholders. Our school was congratulated as it served as the division winner for Gawad Sik Club in Gulayan sa Paralan and also as best implementer. Consequently, the school was the regional representative last June 21, 2021 for that category. In regional memorandum number 253, our school was announced as fourth place in Gulayan sa Paralan best implementer. These were the achievements of the Citrus National High School and, of course, this will not be achieved without your support. I am dreaming that somehow, someday in the future, our community, with your support, will achieve educational progress in terms of uh, achievement in different uh, educational fields. I want to see our uh, students here Go forth into the different fields of endeavors in uh, different aspects of uh, human lives. Once again, uh, I would like to call on your support. Lagi nating tulungan ang ating paralan sapagkat dito nakasalalay ang pagunlad ng ating barangay. Sa mga kabataan, nakasalalay ang pagunlad ng bayan at nasa kanilang kapabalidad ang salalayan ng pag-unlad ng ating bansang Pilipinas. Mga kasama, mga magulang na narito po sa Barangay Citrus, muli ang aking pasasalamat sa inyong pagsuporta sa nagdaang school year. Sana po ay patuloy ang inyong pagsuporta para po hindi lamang sa ikauunlad ng ating barangay, kundi sa ikauunlad ng bawat isang naninirahan dito po sa Barangay Citrus. Once again, thank you very much. Sa lahat ng ating mga mag-aaral na San Jose, kayo ay larawan ng pagsusumikap at katatagan. Dahil sa kabila ng hirap at mga problemang idinulot ng pandemyang COVID-19, ay nagpatuloy kayo sa pag-aaral. Despite the limited resources to access online and modular distance learning, you managed to reach this far and a step closer to pursuing your aspirations. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. Nais ko rin ipaabot ang aking mainit na pagbati sa lahat ng inyong mga magulang at mga guro na araw-araw kayong ginabayan at nagsilbing tagapayo 
sa pagtamo ng edukasyon. Saludo po kami sa inyong lahat na patuloy na sinusuportahan at binibigyan ng mataas na pagpapahalaga ang edukasyon at pag-aaral. Kasama niyo po ako at ang pamahalang lungsod ng San Jose del Monte in supporting the Department of Education and the Schools Division of the City of San Jose del Monte in promoting quality education and honing the better future of San Joseños as we move forward to a new and better normal. We heal as one and we rise as one. Maligayang pagtatapos, Aria Estudyanteng San Joseño. Masaya po ang aking puso at lubos na natutuwa para sa tagumpay ng ating mga mag-aaral sa Nusenyo. To all San Nusenyo learners, you are able to withstand the adversities brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. Your resiliency and faith help you to remain focused on your goals. Ito na ang bunga ng araw-araw ng inyong pagsusumikap na matuto sa online class at matapos ang inyong modules. My warmest congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. Also, my congratulations to the parents, family, and to everybody that supported the journey of these students to attain education. Nice ko rin pasalamatan ng ating Department of Education at ang Schools Division of San Jose del Monte City at ang lahat ng mga guro sa lungsod ng San Jose del Monte sa inyong sakripisyo na patuloy na maghahatid ng mataas na kalidad na edukasyon para sa lahat ng nangangarap na San Jusenio. Let us all work hand in hand in strengthening the quality of education as we look forward to building a better future for San Jusenios. Congratulations Class 2021 and God bless us all. At bilang bahagi ng ating palatuntunan, ating saksihan ang pag-awit ng Citrus National High School March mula sa musika at titik ni Ginang Daphne Grace S. Estabaya, Guro sa MAPE. Mula sa inyong lingkod, Emelita M. Doroha, guro sa Filipino na bumabati sa lahat ng junior high school completers ng ating paaralan.
Gayun din po ang magulang na talagang naglaan ng oras sa gitna ng pandemya. Maraming maraming salamat po.